Hey buddy, it's Victor. It's time for another Eden Run here, the Binding of Isaac Victor Repent series. Happy Thursday, Mosh Pit. We're waiting for another video to cross 3,000 likes, but this week has been very good for the like streak counter thus far. So if you want to keep it going and get us to TM Trainer Month, make sure you click the like button. Thank you all very much for all the support here on YouTube. And also thank you to TJ Button for yet another banger meme of the day here sent in by TJ Button. Now the was let the map animal meta continue. <laughs> uh, look... Y'all know I'm not crazy. That was definitely like some kind of like condor or bird or something. So, it's Invicta's the birds. And also, uh, TJ also said in the thread, this is my third meme from episode 1017. And that is awesome. I, the, the attention to detail is truly exquisite. Thank you very much, TJ Button. I love the I love the Photoshop edits. Keep them going. <laughs> the animal map meta. Uh, that we're in, we're, I guess we're now in the animal map meta uh, arc of this anime. Today is going to be uh, Tango Zero, Hotel Lima, Two Golf, Nine, Romeo. We're starting off with a ladder and box of spiders. Literally base Isaac tiers and good damage, good shot speed, good movement speed to start with. So, and really bad luck, but you know, it, it could it could be worse. Like getting float shotted by a mini stro in floor in room one of floor one. Uh, yeah, we got to go. We, we have to get super bandage here. As much as I like little Brimmy, I, we need HP here. Um, obviously we want the super bandage for the devil deal on the next floor. So yeah, let's try to blow up some extra rocks. Maybe we'll get a crawl space. Didn't take super bandage here is going to give us one red heart and one soul heart. Yeah. I, I mean, I guess we're just going to find out like what the maps are going to look like. It's, it's the map animal meta. I'm down. I'm down for it. Really hoping that was going to, I was going to, I was hoping that was going to make that bomb accessible there uh from that mega troll bomb but obviously it didn't happen box of spiders is going to throw out a random number of spiders it's you no know, it's a box of spiders it does what is advertised and that's all you can really expect from it go up against dangle here on floor one so it's in our best interest to not destroy these poop piles if possible because we don't want dangle to have just free range over uh the entire room So this is this is just using your environment to the to your advantage. Now he can destroy the the poop piles with his shots, so you got to be careful of that. Obviously Isaac can too. We don't want to we don't want to do that. All we're trying to do is just make it give ourselves a safe fight. <clears throat> you have to forgive me. I was I also just ate some some Texas barbecue, so my I got I got my voice is a little bit froggy. All that. Nice, beefy, fatty goodness. Dex barbecue. You can't go wrong with Rudy's, man. You really can't. Although there are some times where, like, the brisket's just not great. Like, I've gotten... I've had Rudy's before where, like, in Texas barbecue in general, where, like, the Texas... The, the brisket was inedible. Like, there was just too much smoke. It's like they almost like they, like, soaked it in smoke. To the point of, like, you can't even taste, like... The sauce that you're using or like the meat itself it just tastes like pure smoke and i'm just not down for that luckily this time around it was not like that also don't ever do what i just did which is get too close to dingle uh or dangle because those as you saw those dips he can spawn pretty much instantaneously and that's before he starts whistling so uh we get another hp upgrade which is good we definitely have more than enough hp to go into the curse room so i'm gonna go do that also i feel like my sound effects are turned down Oh, well, I, I I I might be going deaf. I don't know. Either that or I need to get new headphones. Feels like the sound effects are turned down quite a bit. Might just be all that Rudy's. Um, ourselves. Okay, we got a trip to the Ultra Moon, the uh, Ultra Secret Room with the Reverse Moon card. So that's that's going to allow us to get out of the Curse Room at least for half price, unless assuming it's not like adjacent to the Curse Room. I wouldn't mind getting the stopwatch, but we don't have enough money for that unless we get some kind of miracle order drop like we did yesterday. Oh, baby. Now we're talking. Dead eye on floor one. Woo-wee. We are rewarded for exploring a little bit there, and man. I gotta I gotta do more exploration, you know? I don't I don't do full clears enough. Uh this animal. Uh, it looks like, uh, yep. <laughs> I'm going 
going to last week's question of the episode from the 800 episode. Obviously, that thumbnail was inspired by the movie 300. I basically just told Alex, hey, uh, do this, but as Isaac. He was like, see. I was like, see. And we high-fived, as always. Uh, comes in from It's Crazy Wolf, sent in here. Uh, the question of the episode of the official Isaac challenges to achieve dead God, which is your favorite to do, which is your least favorite to do, and why? Um, then Mosh Pit, feel free to answer as well. Me personally, I like the tech challenge the most because it's one of those items that is fun. And my least favorite was the Urn of Souls one because if you run out of souls, then you cannot finish the challenge, have to restart more aggravating than difficult. So this is one that I get asked quite a lot, but I never really truly think about it uh, just because I don't. It's been so long since I've done cha challenges, and maybe we'll do like a challenge week for a like street goal one one of these days. Um, but my definitely by far and away my most favorite challenge to do in all of Isaac. Uh, and since it's Crazy Wolf didn't tell, didn't limit me to like a DLC challenge or anything like that, it's definitely got to be Pika Run. Um, that's the one where all the items, all the items are trinkets. This Claudi. All the items are trinkets, and every hit, every hit that Isaac takes activates marbles. So your only stats uh, that you can get are generated from trinkets. And obviously, there's lots of great trinkets in the game. Uh, that are great as passive items and my least favorite my least favorite challenge by far is going to be speed i absolutely hate that challenge um that's the one where isaac just starts taking damage every 10 seconds if you don't finish the run in 16 minutes so it's really not enjoyable um even though i one shot at the the last time that we did the speed challenge here on the channel um that doesn't absolve it it's still just a garbage garbage challenge i really don't like ultra ultra hard as well is kind of annoying um, the bass backwards challenge is also kind of annoying as well but the speed challenge is i i definitively actively dislike um i'm gonna buy this bomb so we can get this tinted raku see secret secret might be there i'm not sure oh can't be there because it's blocked by rocks but i'm still gonna take this tinted rock anyway okay we got an extra bomb i'm gonna go to the curse room we have plenty of hp damage upgrade nice okay so we got our luck upgrade back up to positive uh secret room is probably here then it is the luck upgrade okay 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 mate yeah maybe we'll do something with challenges for our next like street goal i don't know dm trainer is still kind of lagging behind here we've been on it for like two months now which is a lot longer than i'd like for a like street goal but it's gonna happen it's gonna happen if not uh if not hitting it this week then uh, next week for sure also i forgot that we had the ladder as always go dead eye doing crazy good stuff here we get the screw which is gonna give us a nice tears upgrade and shot speed upgrade and vengeful spirit which is certainly an item that exists in the binding of isaac And curse the XL. Yep. Curse the XL is on floor three and four. It seems like it's been happening a lot lately. It's just so bad to I mean you all know the you all know the whole the all bad of XL fours by now. And in fact I'm not I'm not even gonna repeat it, so I'm just gonna we're just gonna go move on. Uh, but I mean, there's nothing inherently wrong with vengeful spirit. It's just not To me, it's not really a, a Interesting item if the wisps did something more or if like they had special like shots that you can't get in from any other wisp Or something more than just a regular basic shot You know then or if they even 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 if they persisted through floors that would be fine um, but I'm so unimpressed with the I with that item that like I would legit rather just have another hp upgrade then like i would rather save the hp for something else than take a one heart devil deal that is vengeful spirits so the game has the opportunity to make it up to us here with fallen and look at that look at that damage from the spiders there with uh the dead eye augmenting our base damage here heavily All right, so it's going to be one of those kind of runs. You know, you had me going in the first half game, not going to lie. You gave us a, a good dead eye drop, a 
unfortunate uh, tears upgrade, a nice random luck and damage upgrade. I, th I thought we were flying high. But uh, it's very quickly becoming apparent here that uh, we're getting trolled. Should have known something was up as soon as we got the, the floor three curse of the XL. Definitely a rock bottom esque type situation here for us. Obviously, we need more tiers, we need more movement speed, we need more just mobility. But we're not down in the dumps right now. We're it's you know it's it's not a great situation to be in. Like it's not perfect or anything, but it is. It's something that we can build upon as long as we get a little bit of assistance from the game. It feels like a dead end over here. Yeah. And I think the I think the, the troll is on now. Yeah. All right, so there you go. Let's let's just go ahead and get off of these two floors here. That's all I need to see. BBF and Firemind in both of our XL item floors. Oh yeah, and also our item rooms. And also don't forget the blood rights that we got from, from Fallen. That's 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 some good stuff right there. And I know we're skipping the shopping. You know what? I don't care. So you can bet your bottom dollar that we are not getting an angel deal or a devil deal on this floor. And this was really probably the biggest nothing burger. This is probably the biggest nothing burger of a floor minus the Eucharist, I would say. The Eucharist is going to give us a 100% chance for a devil or for an angel deal, no matter what. And we haven't had we haven't had a Eucharist run in a while. So, angel fans rejoice, rejoice here. Rejoice it. I said rejoice, not rejoicing. Oh, that was a charge key. We're not we're not going for golden chest anymore. Uh, there's a sack room here. If we get enough HP, maybe we can get some plays. But we're already at the point now where it's like, okay, we've got we've got some we got some good foundations of a of a run here, but we need we need actual actual good items to to help us out here. And we had we got a good start. But we're we're already transitioning into the mid game here, and uh, yeah, those are the kind of item rooms we've been getting. Hey. Game is making sure we use all of our bombs to get out of these dead ends. First chariot card here. Uh, no, I think I think I'd rather I'd rather have the uh, I'd rather have the the strength card. Thank you. Oh, I forgot to look at the soul, Bethany. That's what I that's what I couldn't figure out. I need to I need to figure out what people were saying about that Soul of Bethany that we had in in that greed run that we did on uh, Tuesday. Cuz that was insane. Like we kept getting we kept getting wisps out of nowhere for no no discernible reason. I'm going to take the cherry uh, yeah, I'll take the cherry card now. Let's go kill the boss. We know that we're going to get 100% deal with the angels here, so it doesn't really matter. Boss is, excuse me. As you see here, we are allowed to move. Of course, this dark one's like perfectly moving away from us. Oh, and then we get hit. Okay. Okay. Are there any more hits you would like today have today, sir? Dark one's very quickly rising the ranks as like my most hated bosses in this in this game. It doesn't seem like he should be that difficult, but when there's two of them and they're just going like just going ape dookie like this like these two are is like honestly hell 
the damage upgrade here from Jesus Juice. And speaking of Soul Locket, we're going to take Soul Locket. Might as well. Seems to be the only way that we're going to get some extra base stats here. Uh, we got plenty of time for boss rush. I was going to look for the shop and grab the strength card just in case we get into trouble. So Soul Locket is going to work just like the Candy Heart episode, except with Soul, Lock soul Hearts instead of Red Hearts. Um, every soul heart, that, soul heart that we pick up is going to give us a random uh, base stat permanent upgrade, which is nice. And if you get some kind of soul heart generator, it can be it can ball out of control in a hurry. We definitely need to get some more tiers now. Uh, going into the going into the late mid game here, this is this is going to be interesting. Um, we're not able to fully maintain our HP just because we just don't have great mobility here, and we're also not getting any opportunities from our item rooms or shops. So. It really is going to come down to mechanics here and just not wasting the the dead eye buff. I am going to go in the curse room because they have a chance anyway of giving us a soul heart, and there's nothing here. All right, all right. Okay, so we're so this is how we're going to play this run from now on. We're just not going to take any extra opportunities to look for the game to give us some help because uh, <laughs> obviously that they didn't that they, it's not going to be in the cards here. Or where our super secret room is either. It'd be to, I mean, it can only be to the right of here. I wonder, do you... Do you get a... The soul locket proc on a soul heart given to you by a confessional booth? No. The answer's no. Okay. Fair enough. Can go tap it a little bit more. I still want to make sure that we get boss rush or something because we lost so much on that XL4. Uh, 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 uh. Hey. All right, we'll check the immediate surrounding rooms here for a fool card this time. I'm not going to pull what happened on the end of this episode with the uh, fool card being in the closest possible room to where we started at, and we end up going through an entire level looking for it, of course. There's a very, very Sinvicta luck moment here. We heard the nice little recharge there from Placenta. We'll get a random dime, which is going to be nice. It's not going to be nice. It's fighting a random red champion, Polycephalus. You get a soul heart from him, though, so maybe that was nice. Damage. Movement speed and luck. I pitched my idea of the, of the recall box to... Uh, to Zambolas, one of the Isaac devs, and he said, and I quote, it sounds like a very fun idea, end quote. And he also said that uh, Tainted Lost fans rejoice. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, that would be, that would be definitely like the go-to S-tier item for Tainted Lost. Yeah, the, the, the recall box. I thought it was a good idea for an item. It'd be neat to be able to get more new items in Isaac that weren't modded, of course. We're still looking for anything on this level right now. We get another random damage upgrade, which I'm definitely down for. So Lazarus gives us a gives us the ability to uh, recharge or recharge respawn. Got stuck on the ladder there. And okay, well. Found mom's mom's room, but we have not found the item room yet. Uh, our map this time looks like I'm getting I'm getting kind of ET vibes from this, you know. 
Like ET's head is the is the unexplored two by two. Like he's like he's like kind of doing the he's either doing a dance or like he's holding he's about to throw something at you. That's what it looks like to me. Now I don't know if ET counts as an animal or not since he's an alien, but it's in his name. Now now you're starting to see the ET, right? Right. We are still We are still looking for the fool card. We get Diplopia here and also PH Dizzle, which I'm just going to take even though it's a little bit late in the game for it. We need something. Telepills is fine. Telepills gets us out of the boss room. Out of the boss trap room. Still have no idea where our item room is or our uh, tinted skull. At this point, they're probably inside of one another. But at least Diplopia is going to allow us to duplicate the boss rush. So here's the hoping that we get some kind of super amazing wagon adventure item inside. Keeping out the maxed out uh, dead eye bonus here. There we go. Go check out the. Ooh, okay, that could be worth diplopying. Now we don't have to worry about walking out yet because obviously we've got Eucharist and the D sizzle. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> now what if I've got I've got a I've got an idea here. Stick with me on this. What if we used Diplopia inside of the Angel Deal and then went and gra grabbed the D sizzle from the boss trap or boss rush? Yeah, you see me? You see you feel me? Picking up what I'm selling? We're gonna use Diplopia in here, not pick up anything, run in, grab the D sizzle, and then teleport out. Right? Right? Invict uh, smart. If that would have taken me to the if that would have taken me to the I am air room, I would have lost my collective ish. Some of you probably were hoping that was gonna happen. You sickos out there. Wishing nothing but poor luck and and bad situations on your on your old palace and victim. That's probably the maddest I would have ever been on YouTube. I'm getting mad just thinking about it. Thankfully it didn't happen. Uh fool cards there, but I'd rather have the strength card. And Monstro's Tooth, alright. All right, our item room is just just knocking it out of the park. Ah. Now it's definitely ET doing like a drop kick. He's doing like a flying drop kick. You can't tell me otherwise. Tell me that. Tell me the map doesn't look like ET doing a, a drop kick. I will call you a liar. Grab this. Yeah, we didn't leave a full charge in there. I thought we did. Might as well put two cents in. You know, two cents never hurt. Two cents saved is a two cents earned type thing. Now, the question is, are we going to take the halo? And I think the answer is yes. We got to take one of the halos. Or we could just supremely YOLO it for an extra, an extra four item pedestals, which honestly is probably worth more than just the halo. Yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna just YOLO this. Hit. Well, we gotta take Crown of Light for sure. And then the soul. Does the soul work with Soul Locket? No. They're taking the Halo.
Ursa lost. That was one of those like speculative value type situations though, because like you, oh, there's creep there. Uh, you just don't know, like the idea of us being able to get an extra item uh, pedestal there is just too, in my opinion, is too valuable not to have. Go finally get some extra little movement speed there. Crown of Light, by the way, is gonna double our damage as long as we are not taking damage and as long as we have full HP. It's very, very, very strong, especially with Deadeye. Yeah, to me, it was it was worth the risk of losing the Halo for possibly rolling into something amazing. Um, which I mean, Crown of Light is amazing, but the thing is that it wasn't that wasn't on any that wasn't on either one of the Halo pedestals. So we could have taken the Halo and still gotten Crown of Light. And of course, we get Little Delirium or Delirious. I don't know why that item's still in the Angel Pool. Don't ask me. Kind of like one of those pervasive items that are always going to be there when you don't want it. I don't know if there's anyone who is like, man, thank God we got Delirious. Or a little Delirium for that matter. So you see how quickly our damage is just going insane exponentially there. That was an amazing accidental shot on that Claudia. You know what? I'm here for it. And we're also here for a, uh, another dead end. All right. All right. How does he do it? There's the entire map, everybody, except for the one way we need to go, which is this way. So kind of, kind of not loving our tears right here. It's also one of my least favorite rooms in the entire game. <sighs> okay. That's all I need to see there, game. Store credit. It's going to be a little bit useless since we don't have any stores that we're going to be going up against right now. Certainly not going to go into old hushies with this build. We have we need we need about double the tiers rate for me to consider that. I know, I know. I've got the ladder. I know. Keep forgetting. Justice. Ladder is easily one of those items, along with PhD, that I always forget that I have. Because there's no... I mean, like, PhD gives you, like, a mask, like a face mask to wear, and that's fine. But the ladder gives you no indication that you have it. At all. You have to, like, walk over something in order to see it. Yeah, also the soul, are you ever going to start like deflecting like projectiles like in that room? Because like, I'm pretty sure we've been hit by a lot of other projectiles that you could have easily saved us from. Yeah, we picked you up because, well, two reasons. One, because I thought maybe you would synergize with the soul lock and B, because we like to have our soul hearts. But you get put on this team, son, you got to make the big time plays, all right? If you don't make the big time plays, we, we, we're going to have to go somewhere else. Hit me. I got stuck on the ladder. And that's that right there is the reason why I, I don't like taking the ladder. Okay, brother. Soul, we need to have a talk here. Cuz uh you're deflecting these shots way too late. Uh, you're you're deflecting them 2 days after we get hit. Big time damage here from the devil card. Squeezy, which thank God gives us a tears upgrade. And yep. At least we get some HP here.
And another Curse of the Lost. Yeah, we're in we're in full troll troll mode right here. We uh if it wasn't obvious after the, the whole fire mine BBF XL floor, it should be painfully obvious now. I mean we are like progressing through this this run. I feel like it could have been such a crazier run though, man. Like really, really good. Now whether or not getting angel deals is a contributing factor in that i don't know you know there's sometimes where i do there's sometimes where i do have to hesitate taking the eucharist because i just straight up just don't like angel deals and that was something that we all kind of wished for to be rectified is, is to switch up this whole angel deal devil deal meta you know complexity thing i would love to have seen angel deals get just fresh items or just change change a lot of the items just completely in favor of more offense than defense like there's so many there's just so many better devil deal items than there are angel deal items now of course that being said there are great angel deal items to be sure what oh that was that was a mimic chest okay After all the RNG BS that we've seen on this run, you expect me to re-roll? No, thank you. I'll take my lumps and move on from this run. But that was one of the things that like we were all kind of hoping for was that re Repentance was going to just revolutionize Angel Deals and make them just make them better than Devil Deals. And honestly, I think that one of the ways that you could do that is just simply just add a little bit of offensive power even like just base offensive upgrades or, or better yet make make all the items that you get stats wise have have a dual stat increase for angel deal items give something because like they, like angel deal items are always going to lag behind devil deal items like sensor for example really not great item the only good thing about angel deals is that you get if you have the d6 you get a chance to get more end game items than you would with a devil deal but you have to fight an extra boss every single time you want that. So, and you don't have to do that in, in Devil Deals. You know what I mean? So there's like, there's a lot of contributing factors that just make Devil Deals definitively better, in my opinion, than Angel Deals. Does work out sometime, but not always. So we could go look for another full charge, but it's Curse of Lost and I'm probably gonna be here for another 20 minutes. We had Holy Mantle, which, of course, is an S-tier, God-tier item, right? It's going to save us from getting hit once per once per room. It, it can refresh every time every time you walk out of the door and walk back in. But it's just a defensive. It's a defensive item. It's a defensive upgrade. Right now, we don't need defense. We want we want more offense. We want more tiers, right? You know, and inevitably, this always comes up in this whole angel deal, devil deal discussion. Well, why do you like devil deals more? And the, the answer is very simple. It's just you get more offense from Devil Deals. Like, yes, they cost HP, but the costs, the benefits outweigh the costs. And you could say, well, the reason why they're better is because obviously you have to pay, you have to pay HP for, uh, for your, your Devil Deal. So, you know, you give what you, you get, what you give sort of thing. Well, in that, if that's the case, if that's the main argument to say, like, well, that's that makes getting that makes justified justified argument because devil deals are just better than angel deals, then let angel deals cost HP or or, or hell, let angel deals cost soul hearts or something. But I want I want an equivalent exchange for what I'm giving to the game for an end game item such as you know brimstone or, or mom's knife or something like that. I don't know where that boot pile came from. Oh, it's from Turdy Touch. That's right. Yeah, we can use the reverse death card. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll take Ed Tooth. Finger Bone's actually a little bit probably better, but...
if there was a like we do have an item like kind of light except for tears upgrades and that is the pascal candle i like the pascal candle i think i think we need more more items like that in the game are we ever going to see more items like that no do i believe that we're going to ever see new items in the game no i think that i think that isaac is is definitively done when it comes to adding new stuff to the game canonically anyway non in a nod mod fashion um but it's always fun to theorize and speculate, you know. But if you if you ask me to put some put some money on it, say okay, you have to you you got to dedicate an answer. Do you think we'll ever get more items in repentance, like from Ed or from anyone? Uh, no, I would bet on no. And honestly, I hope I'm wrong. The question, I'll ask myself the question of the episode here. If, if I could get one change and one change only that the devs were like, okay, Sin, we'll let you like, you know, we, we want, we want to implement only one of your ideas of all time. What is the one thing that you would implement? The one thing that I would implement in the game as of now would easily be give me reasons to go alt path optional bosses etc cetera, etc cetera. that whole change would absolutely change the entire game for me so i would make alt path items not have not be blind you just get a guaranteed double item room no matter what if you go fight hush your next run has a has a free angel item pedestal for you to have at the start on the on floor one in the in the starting room you just get a random angel item it doesn't give it to isaac it just is there just like lost soul buddy would give you one if you go fight delirium on that run your next run has a random increase in stats doesn't matter who you play uh mega satan will always give you a devil deal item on at the start of your next run and uh uh, that's it. There doesn't have to be any incentive for the end game bosses, like the ones that like, like mother or mom or anything like that. Um, but the optional bosses that you just don't have to do. You don't have to do delirium. You don't have to do hush. You don't have to do mega Satan after, after the initial unlock, of course, that would be the biggest change that I would want to see implemented. If I'm only allowed one change and one change only to better Isaac. If there was some kind of incentive to do like to, to do hush for example to give me a free angel deal item at the start of the next of the next run no matter who i play i would go to hush every single episode every single time because that's so worth it that is just amazing amazing value same thing goes for delirium same thing goes for alt path like having having a guaranteed double item pedestal yeah sign me up for that Sign me up. It's worth the extra because the difficulty, the built-in extra difficulty is already there, right? Like you already have the the annoying factor of of going to alt path with the with the the more difficult enemies and the more difficult bosses. So getting yourself an extra item pedestal would be amazing. So I know that we've retre we've retreaded this whole conversation before, but post your thoughts down below. I'd love to know how your what your feeling is on that. If you could change one. Thing. If you could implement one change that either uh, something that I've discussed or something of your own uh, volition, let me know. Post them in the comments down below. Of course, post your questions of the episode as well. And thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing. Have a great Thursday, everybody. And as always, I'll see you all next time. Until then, so long, everybody. Thanks for watching this video. Like, thanks to Page of Mind, like Ode Ode, Flots Callan Cantony, and Michael McMaster. If you'd like to have your name read at the end of an Isaac episode, check out my Patreon campaign, which you can find at Patreon dot com slash Invicta.